All right, we have game three between Snorkak and Brotherman Bill. Snorkak, uh, I mean, uh, Be Brotherman Bill took game two with his Tau, so it's down to uh, game three for Snorkak. Takes uh, Tau Empire again. Map pick is. Uh, Map pick is uh, Ninjax Demise, same as the first game, but this time he'll be playing as Tau against Brotherman's Bill Eldar. Uh, this is gonna be an interesting match so far. Maybe he wants to do better than the first man. So let's see how it'll turn out. Once again, Brotherman Bill going for one Guardian to capture duty. That's a bit slow if you ask me, but okay. So far it's working because uh, no early pressure is coming for. From the Tau side. Why do you want to get a jump jet so early? Okay. Not a bad option. Tau commander. Power generator. Research complete. You can jump around the map now. My music is a Bone Singer is getting listening posts. Um, pretty standard place. Banshee aspect again. Yes. Why should you change? Things work out so well and I notice... You did not use fleet of foot at all in the previous match. You won't use it again, I guess. And goes for Farseer first. Uh, again, why Farseer? What does he what does she do actually? Tao, let's see how he plays the this match. Goes for early Vespid. Hmm. Probably worrying about the Rangers. But Eldars did not get Rangers at all this time. Instead, goes for the same Farseer first. One uh, Guardian Squad. Really budget opening here. Banshee Aspect Stone coming up. Tau Commander is just standing in the middle. Vespid is complete. Does he even realize what's the use of the Vespid? Uh, aside from detection, you know? I, I, I don't think so. You, I don't see him using the Vespid to destroy buildings. Doesn't use the destabilization ability. To inflict 50% more damage to the structures. Really not really not using Vespid to his full pot fullest potential here. We, are shaped by we have Guardians capturing the third the strategic point so far. And Vespid out. Facing off against uh, a lone Farseer. Not sure why this Farseer... Is going at it alone. What what can she do? She's just a weak hero. Yes, she has some abilities that can deal damage. But if she gets caught alone and steps on an early uh, snare trap like that, she will not survive. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Taking a lot of damage for nothing. Basically, six hundred damage. Are you gonna send some help? Yes, uh, Howling Banshee squad is out. And this Vespid squad, as I expected, he's just using it as a as a standard detection instead of uh, doing some hardcore harassing, which could inflict some serious damage to his uh, opponent's uh, economy in early game. Because you only have one guardian, and one guardian is not sufficient to stop to stop a destruction of a plasma plasma generator or two. Vespid uh, and Fire Warrior, Tree Snares. This is pretty good uh, ground to hold. But why is this uh, Stealth Suit not capturing at all? A little bit sloppy place so far. Mm, did not like it. Guardian Squad, meanwhile, not going in for the capture, knows the threat is nearby. 6820 economy for Tao, 7420 for uh, Eldar so far. Gets mysticism with one guardian squad. Guardian. Oh, two guardian squad now. Okay, that's uh, that's cool. <laughs> but why? <laughs> why really? Why would you do that? Second uh, Fire Warrior Squad is out. Fully reinforced the first Fire Warrior Squad. No crudes this time. And Stealth Team finally going for a capture. 
on this critical point. We'll trigger countdown victory soon. Tao content on the defense, but did not notice this critical point being captured at all. Poor scouting done. Vespid should really be roaming a little bit forward to advance. That's their job, basically. Fire Warrior gets drawn out by the... Hmm. Stealth team might die here. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Why didn't you... <laughs> Relic gets to capture it. And instead of continuing to capture, he decides to fall back again. What the fuck? Do you know what's actually detecting you? It's the fucking Relic. Once you decapture the relic, it doesn't. It no longer detects. Okay. Meanwhile, we have an engagement here. Uh, Farseer decides to advance and gets snared, and <laughs> the Vespid jumps into the into the the, the storm uh, spell. <laughs> you know, the Vespid has two abilities. You know, you, you might as well use them to knock them back a bit. But uh, Tao, you, taking advantage of this negative terrain here to uh, slow down the advancing uh, Eldar army. Maybe it's time to fall back to the snare, don't you think? You know. Oh! Mind War triggered, throws another snare, did not jump out, stays in melee, not sure why. And it looks like the Tao might be killed here. Come on, guys. What is going on? <laughs> You're dead meat if you just stand still in the middle. And Vespid not really doing their job. <laughs> okay. Talk a better times. <laughs> when he could just jump out. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Why is Fire Warrior fighting in me? <laughs> Crudes arrive too late. What the fuck is this? I mean... <laughs> this is a joke. You have good position and you... You don't even take advantage of it. <laughs> Stealth team killed in melee. <laughs> Yeah, should have stuck with Space Marine, pal. I don't know why you picked Tao. Good lord. It looks like this Howling Banshee might get killed eventually, you know. Once the Fire Warrior managed to break out of melee range. Farseer is dead. Let's see what's the color of her panties. Oh, she's gone. That's, that's a shame. Okay. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Four minutes to take an old victory. Eldar hits tier 2 but has no army except for one Banshee squad. Gets a support portal. Tao uh, managed to rebuild his lost army and uh, Tao commander. 80-30 economy. Pretty shit to be honest. Should really be getting more. Doesn't have vehicles, but he has at least his tier 2. He gets another crude carnivore squad. Why don't you like Pathfinders, my friend? Uh, I, I should really train more with you, maybe teach you some things, but I've, I've been busy the last few days. This looks like to be one of those games. Uh, Vespit taking heavy casualty, but no reinforcement at all. Will die shortly without any help. But it's not like he has to worry because uh, the Eldar doesn't have much of an army left. Three minutes until taken. Only one uh, Eldar of Howling Banshee squad. Why are you so defensive? Why are you playing take and hold? Don't you realize how much damage the enemy has taken? Yes. Okay. So let's just uh, take it easy. Speed this up. Pretty sure nothing will happen. That's it. Just look at this. What kind of play is this? Two minutes. Nothing's happening. 
Really, nothing's happening. Finally, something's happening. We have one Rave Lord, one Farseer, and one uh, Howling Banshee Squad. After two minutes of inactivity, the Eldars finally realized we have a countdown happening. And moved out. A little bit late. You know what could actually be done? Get a Falcon Graph Tank. Get a Falcon Graph Tank. Put a Guardian Squad inside. Just jump across. Decapture, you know. Stuff like this while you're attacking. <laughs> oh my god, look at the snares capturing. Hitting the Rave Lord and the Howling Banshee Squad here. One minute to take and hold, and it looks like to be the final drama here. <laughs> Just one deep capture will have done it. So, why are you spamming Rave Lords instead of guard sneaking a Guardian across this point and decapturing capturing this point? Even if you win this engagement, you still lose, you know, if you don't decapture capture this. Eldar completely forgetting the point of this. Oh, finally he tries to decapture while under fire. That will work out nicely. 20 seconds remain. Will he succeed in this? I, <laughs> I can't believe this. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. Good lord. <laughs>